guys welcome back to a brand new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly what the differences are between a vegas pro 21 and a vegas pro 22 so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below and let's get to go ahead and get started right after the intro What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna do something that I've done before with certain other softwares. So in this video, we're gonna discuss what is actually you know different from Vegas Pro 21 compared to Vegas Pro 22. We're gonna check all the new features because obviously Vegas Pro 22 does actually have a lot of new awesome features compared to 21 and we're gonna also do a render test to see which version actually renders faster you want to make sure that you will optimize all your settings so we're gonna do a comparison test in Vegas Pro 21 and 22 we're gonna take the exact same mp4 file that we're gonna export in the exact same you know frame rate and resolution and then we're gonna also save it on the same location so it's not gonna be written on a faster drive than the other it's gonna be exactly the same all right guys so as you can tell I have Vegas Pro 21 open right here and also on top of that i have vegas pro 22 open so as you can tell you know starting from the basics the ui is still comfortable to use and it's even easier to get started with a new project or open existing one they don't really change too much on the ui every single year and i think that's very very smart because obviously people don't like change or only maybe when there is some sort of familiarity in it so that's really really good that they also just tweak things but in a very very minimal way so what's really cool is that vegas pro actually handled different types of footage that i've imported such as a clip of a red cam which is an 8k vista vision clip at 23.98 frames a second some 4k footage that i shot on my iphone as well and some old 1080p clips from a short video that i made a couple years ago so it's actually really really strong in that aspect so i like going through the footage and easily color grading and tweaking the audio without the need to launch a separate app so what's really cool about this is that it has obviously the new ui improvements such as a new welcome screen to quickly set up a new project or open up an existing one so you don't have to go ahead and browse on your hard disk for 20 minutes to find that specific Vegas project. It will just ask you right away when you boot up Vegas if you want to open up an existing one. The Explorer window has been also improved plus the timeline section function has also been updated. We have flexible editing space to customize to fit the editor's needs obviously. So audio wise we have quickly and accurately syncing audio and footage with the multi-cam audio SYNC. Right now we also have a beat and tempo detection and what I also covered in a different video that you guys have probably seen or which is still coming also the ai features such as ai text-based editing which allows creating a transcript and editing the footage simply by cutting or pasting the words we have ai sharpen smoothing and dehaze and then we also have ai auto reframe which is especially handy when outputting to multiple devices for example a screen or tv a computer or a mobile so one other thing i really like about vegas pro 22 and some other nles essentially what vegas calls the modeless workflow being able to edit a video color grade edit audio and it will for example in a multi-track and perform advanced compositing all within one single app no round tripping to other apps which is really really cool especially with this new auto ducking feature like you don't have to go ahead and open up pro tools or another software previously you had to do that you had to open up a different like software in order to do some side chaining or some automation in your background music depending on your voice but that's now all possible within vegas pro so obviously vegas pro 22 supports third-party apps and plugins like Mocha Vegas, Soundforge, Asset Pro, Wizard of X Suite, Vegas Pro Transitions Pack, and even more. Pretty much everything you need to professionally cut, grade, and finish any type of video or film projects. So obviously that is a huge difference to Vegas Pro 21 because Vegas Pro 22 has obviously all the power and features needed to quickly and effectively edit any and all types of projects from shorts to corporate videos, news, documentaries, feature films, and more. YouTubers, I think, will really appreciate the speed, the user interface, and more of that because the AI features also further speed up and enhance the post-production experience by handling some time-consuming tasks and the AI speech text and text-based editing really are game changers. So now that you guys know all the differences between Vegas Pro 21 and Vegas Pro 22 such as the AI features and everything else that we have covered and that we will cover in future videos as well let's go ahead and do this render 
test because I'm actually pretty curious how Vegas Pro 21 is going to hold up to Vegas Pro 22 because I remember a couple years ago, I think I did maybe Vegas Pro 19 versus 20. And I believe for one strange reason, Vegas Pro 19 was faster than uh, a version later. So let's go ahead and do this the same. So right here, as you can tell, I have two exact same videos, the same length, the same quality. So let's go ahead and render this out in 1080p 60 frames. And then we're going to save them to the same location, which is my desktop. And then obviously I'm going to speed the cameras up because I have no idea how long this is going to take. So let's go ahead and see how long Vegas Pro 21 needs to render this video. It's going to be 771 megabytes, as you can tell right here. It's not too bad, so it shouldn't take too long, but I'm curious. And let me know in the comments down below which one you think that will render faster. Is it going to be version 21 or will it be Vegas Pro 22? Alright guys, so now Vegas Pro 21 has finished rendering. I'm not going to show you guys yet how long it took. So let's go ahead and start Vegas Pro 22 with the rendering and let's see how long that one takes. Okay guys, so as you can tell, Vegas Pro 21 has finished rendering. It took the software 14 minutes and 32 seconds. So do you think Vegas Pro 22 will render this faster? Exact same file, same quality? Let me know down in the comments. So let's see how fast Vegas Pro 22 will render. All right, guys, so as you can tell, six minutes and 26 seconds is all it took for Vegas Pro 22 to render the exact same file. No muss, no fuss, nothing like added to it, no color grading, the exact same file. So as you can tell, Vegas Pro 22 is in fact a lot faster. It also has these same settings. I'm not rendering over my CPU. So this is pretty much a really, really huge proof that you should upgrade even just for the rendering times, which is actually cut in more than half if you can if you compare it to Vegas Pro 21. So guys, I'll leave some interesting links down in the description down below where you can actually read about the differences because obviously there is a lot a lot more because obviously I'm not going to name every single like difference from 21 to 22 in this video otherwise this video would be 30 minutes long so guys thanks a lot for watching make sure to pick up your copy of Vegas Pro and the link is down in the description thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one